Armada. Welcome to another episode of Ox Students Aquariums. And earlier this week I had the wonderful opportunity to go see the brand new uh, Jurassic Park movie, Jurassic World. I've got my Jurassic Park t-shirt on here. Uh, I just loved the series. I re loved reading the books. Um, Michael Crichton's one of my favorite authors. So uh, in the spirit of the whole dinosaurs and, and all that exciting stuff, I wanted to do a little bit of a spotlight. And what better fish to do a spotlight on than the Polyterus senegalis, aka the dinosaur bicher. So Polyterus, what does that mean? Well, poly means many, terrace means fins or wing-like. So, put them together, many fins. And that's exactly what you see when you see this fish. I'll get to some close-up footage later on. So there's many ways to pronounce Beicher. There's Beecher, Beicher, uh, Beaker, Biker. Just about any sort of combination you can come up with would be semi-acceptable. There's no real consensus going on as far as I can tell. I like Beicher. Seems to be pretty phonetically correct. So I'm going to go with that. So in the wild, Beichers are primarily found in slow-moving water uh, on the banks of riversides and kind of swampy areas too. Uh, the water is generally very murky, there's a lot of dust particles, dirt particles all floating around. Uh, that doesn't hinder these, these critters as much. Their eyesight is actually very poor. They're primarily a nocturnal predator uh, and they feast primarily on small fish, uh, amphibians, or um, even insects. So that's all fine and dandy, but what do you need to know if you want to keep them in your home aquarium? Well, these guys can actually get fairly large. The Senegal body shirt, for instance, can get to about a foot. Some species have been known to reach up to about 16 inches, so it's actually quite a decent size. Um, for that reason, you'll probably need at least a 55-gallon tank. An 18-inch front-to-back tank, like a 75-gallon, would be even better. Uh, some of the other species of Polyterus can reach up to and even exceed 2 feet in length. These fish are generally very hardy and aren't too fussy about water parameters. Anywhere from a pH of about 6 to 8 would be fine, uh, but preferably around neutral. Water temperature should be in the mid to upper 70s. I'd give a range from about 76 to 82, uh, with optimal temperature of about 78. So what are some good tank mates to keep with your bicher? Well, fish that aren't small enough to be seen as prey and aren't overly aggressive would be great additions. These include other Beicher of similar size, uh, Cribs, Sinocats, Congo Tetras, uh, Black Coast Nightfish, for example. If we jump over to the New World, we can go with some small to medium size uh, cichlids. I've got them in here with some Severums. They've been a great addition and provide some nice color. I'd also like to add that uh, Beichers are very good in planted tanks. So that's definitely a plus for all you planted Aquarius out there. Now if you're going to be keeping them in a tank, one thing that you'll definitely want to be sure of is make sure you have a tight fitting lid on top. Bicers are very good at escaping and you don't want to come home to find that your bicer has gone carpet diving. It's definitely not a fun time. So I've done enough talking, let's get to some close up video of my Polyterus senegalis dinosaur bicer. His name is Scar. He's only got one eye, but that doesn't really affect him that much since, as I said before, they've got very poor eyesight anyway. They generally navigate by their sense of smell. Uh, the way he lost his eye was actually way back when I first got him. I had him in a grow-out tank with a couple of Pseudotrophius salugosi. They were only about an inch long. Uh, he was like three or four times their size, so I thought there was no way this could be any sort of problem. But these guys were, were pretty nasty to him, and uh, before I could separate them, he had already lost his eye. But hasn't faced him all that much. He's, I mean, happily swims around. Really a joy to watch. And anyway, let's get to some close-up video of him.
Thank you.